This is my first entry in a very long time in my daily video journal. This is February 16th, 2021. Um, and I'm actually going to read something that I just wrote. Um, here it is. The weight of it all is debilitating. I hear people talk about joy and lightness, and I want to throw up my hands. And then someone says to me, you have an amazing life. And all I can do is say, you have no idea. How all the mighty are fallen. Let those who think they stand take heed lest they fall. It is a deeply humbling time. So yesterday, with a bit of space to breathe, it occurred to me that I need to be writing. Write, 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 five days a week. One hour a day before I start my work. Today, I started 30 minutes late, but I started. And those are the words, these are the words that are flowing. On the other hand, I'm tired, tired of words. They feel like blocks of ice or blocks of rubble that must be chipped away to reveal the gem of wisdom inside. <clears throat> I've worked very hard at this life to try to squeeze all the juice out of it. I want to throw them all to the ground and watch them crack open and apart, shattering everything I thought I knew about myself, about life, about creativity. The violence feels necessary right now to crack open my own heart, to shatter the carefully woven chain of mail that is supposed to protect me. The shoulds, the have tos, the right way, other people's opinions, other people's certainty. Even Atlas shrugged, let it all go. The world, the planet, the human race, such as we are, perhaps then one day only the tiny creatures will remain after the earth burns itself up and from its ashes rises a new start. When I was younger, I always took comfort in another new start. Smart, creative, resourceful. I took myself to the other sides of the world and began again. Found myself where no one knew me, where there were no connections to fall back on where it was just me and the world I'd never seen and my reliance on something deeper. This is how I learned to trust. After all the tears were shed, fears were furious, I opened my crusty eyes to see that life was still there for me. The same familiar mother, father, sister, brother I'd never known but the soul of belonging, just to be alive. But now that I'm older, what now? Life is shorter. I have less interest to begin again, less force even for the ways I've flowed this force of life all of mine. Now there is longing, but perhaps not to be heard, longing to connect to source, to myself, to others, if only a few, and others, to others. But I question, because of the weight of it all, the rubble, and I wonder, perhaps inside one of these blocks of dusty stone, I might find a cliffside and a cave where I could just retreat to the silence of my own soul at home with itself in the stillness of doing nothing. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust.